Good morning. So today is actually beta day eight. This is a bonus for all of you guys. They just won't be posted the day after. But we are on our way to Shackleford Banks. This is what we are originally planned for earlier in the week to see wild horses. We're also going to do shelling and probably a little swimming if the water is not too cold. It's a Saturday. All of my family are here. My nephew, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law, and all of us in the car. So, and bonus also, little Mochi is coming with us. We're back in Buford. We are going to be riding a boat to the Shackleford Banks and that's where we're going to be seeing the wild horses. We're probably going to do a little swimming and we're also going to be finding a lot of shells. So this is going to be our exciting adventure. This is going to be our last day here. Tomorrow we're going to leave and then we're going to head back to New Jersey. She gets to be on an adventure, finally! <laughs> okay, we are currently on the Shackleford Banks. So this is where they have the wild horses. There was wild horses on the Karen Island. They said it's a different kind of horse on the Karen Island. The horses here are apparently Spaniard horses and the guy said that there's none on the shore right now but if you walk at the end of the island then you'll see the horses there. We just stationed our chairs over there. My mother-in-law can't walk too far and we're just gonna head out to the bathrooms um, to change. My daughter wants to swim. The restroom is in that building. I'm headed off over there and there's a little pier that they have here that people go fishing. The water's pretty shallow. It looks like it's low tide right now. Some people have their private boats, bring all their equipment and camping gear. Three wild horses. We can't go too close to them. They said we have to stay about 50 feet away. I think 
I'm at a good distance right now. They're kind of skinny. Um, we were told not to feed it anything. There's a horse last year that someone fed, a young horse. They fed it an apple and that horse ended up dying. Here's the wild horses behind me, still grazing on the little patch of grass by the shore. I think we have to start backing away. We're not supposed to touch it. Oh, oh man, it's coming this way. Oh no. It's coming this way, really. Oh no. Joe, he's heading your way. That one horse, he came running down the beach and I don't know if he was angry, but we just had to get out of the way. Like they can attack you. And meanwhile, my daughter is like by the shore, by the water. And we had to tell her, come on, come on back, but walk slowly. So they were calm and all of a sudden they just, they looked like they were about to charge. Looks like there's a guided tour on our way. You wanna walk on, on the guided tour? <laughs> it's alright, I'm good. Oh, those two ladies are a little bit too close. How are you enjoying this island, honey? Well, there's horses right there. <laughs> I want to follow this tour guy, just listen to what he has to say. Can you watch it? Go oh, you found a shell? Look, look at that shell. Wow, that's <laughs> it's a peanut. <laughs> that's a peanut shell, isn't it? Yeah. We should, we should bring it to them and show them that we found a special shell. Leave it in the water. Look, it floats too. No. It's like a boat. Like the outer piece of a conch shell? I think it's a shell, Mom. Oh okay. yeah, it's a shell. Have? Did you the have... olive is the olive shell. Yeah, but it's I have broken. Two. I found two. Olive shells? Oh, have a sandwich. <coughs> we thought it was um we Here. thought it was a jaw of an oh, animal. Break it apart. He, happy doggy. He finally went with us to an excursion. Yeah. I don't have extra clothes for you to change in, Catherine. You're gonna have to let yourself dry out in the sun. My sister-in-law has this tent. It's called Shibumi. It's perfect for the beach. It only requires two places to post into the sand. And like, it doesn't like, it doesn't fly away because it's made of kite material and it's only posted on two sides. 
Um, I want to get one actually. <laughs> I want to get one too. My mother-in-law found a hermit crab. Hey buddy, we're going to put you back, don't worry. <laughs> Where'd you find it mom? Over there. Hey. It's hiding. <laughs> yeah, it's hiding. Oh, is it alive? Yeah. Does it need water? It's moving. No. Oh, look, it's coming out. <laughs> Can I see? It doesn't need water right now. Eventually, well. I think we need to moisturize it. <laughs> oh. Here, I'll get some water. We should bury something. <laughs> like how deep. Look at the layers in here. That's pretty cool. We should bury me. Is it from when like the tides come in? I don't know. Because there's like multiple layers. <laughs> pretty tall. Camille, <laughs> did you know that bodies decompose eight times faster in air than in grass? Camille, did you know that apple seeds have a, a little bit of arsenic? So if you get um, enough apple seeds and crunch it up and like... Um, you want to do a little video show mom? So this is my soup. It's, it, it contains... <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? You want to taste it? Well, thank get a good you. look at it. Well, thank you. You want to taste it? Who wants to taste it? I worked very hard on it. It's free to taste. Anybody can taste it for free. <laughs> Dad, do you want to taste it? <laughs> no. How much? How much to taste it? Free. Free? No. It's free no. dollars. No. <laughs> no. I'll give you a dollar if you drink it. All of it. We're gonna head to the other side of the island, but we have to walk over to the dunes. And it looks like water was here before. It's all squishy. We got your shoes on. So we don't have to like take the long way, like walking along the beach. Like stop moving. Let's catch it. Let's see if I can come real close to it. Ah! We made it to the other side of the island. There's a lot of like driftwood here. Um, they did say we can bring a piece, depending how big it is. <laughs> that I would like to bring home. <laughs> Keep it, okay? Hold on to it. We're going to be looking for some shells. Look at the water on the side. And you can actually walk a little bit further. There was a, a deep drop off where we were. This side of the island has a different vibe altogether. There is a lot of driftwood on the sand. There's a lot of shells, a lot more shells. And then someone's barbecuing. That's one thing I didn't like. You couldn't breathe through the air. And now we reach to this area where there's like rocks. I think it's meant to keep in the tides. Looks like this was put here purposely to keep the tides away from the island. And this is the one piece of driftwood we're bringing home that Joe's using as a walking stick. right here be careful oh delicious <laughs> oh my gosh so we have to head back it's already past 12 and our boat we have a reservation oh, to come back at one o'clock so if we miss our reservations then we have to wait for the later later on in the day oh my gosh there's like a whole bunch of dung right here all right we're gonna have to go around it's a very hilly path going that way and and there's also horses that I don't want to run into. 
you get attacked. So we're gonna go back where we came from and there's a straight path going to the other side of the beach. You can see really the horses um, take over the island and leave their markings. So you do need shoes to walk in this area. No thank you. No thank you. camera in no. there. Aiden is doing the excavating and then he's dumping it onto here that provides materials to build the chair. Okay, Mochi. We have to fold up the um, thing down. Well, we just survived. It's already one o'clock, so we have to make it back to our reservations. And then, so it takes like about 30 minutes, no, 50 minutes to get back to the house, and then we have to get ready for lunch.
investing out of all of us. <laughs> yeah. so, so we're back at the house. We stopped by a thrift store that was near the storefront. I'm gonna show you what I bought. So the tops were like $2 or $3 and the jeans were about $3. I did buy three pairs of shoes. Those had a higher price tag to it. But the rest of the items that I bought, there were just a few dollars each. I did find a dress to wear at church today, so I'm gonna go wash that. But altogether, I spent $69 and that included two pairs of jeans for my husband. Starting off with the shorts. They're like floral Hawaiian type shorts. I believe the bottoms were $3, so I wanna say this was a $3 bottom. I don't have the receipt. I'm not sure if they gave me one. So this I'm gonna save for vacation. Next one is just a pair of pants. I can wear this in the house or going out casually. And this was also $3. They're very soft. And it looks like it's barely worn. It's by the brand Anybody. The first shorts I showed you was from Miami. Okay, the last bottom for myself is from Old Navy. And it looks like it's, um, it's not ankle length. It is folded on the bottom. And this was also $3. And it's like white with, it looks like maybe light violet or muted violet. I'll show you my husband's pants while we're going through pants. So he got a pair of jeans. Again, the bottom's at $3, so I'm going to go with it. And this is by Taylor Vintage. The next pair of pants is from Iron Company. Beige pants. It looks like it was barely worn. And this was $3. Then for the tops, they are also between $2 and $3. And this is like very thin, almost see-through shirt, or it is a see-through shirt. I'm going to need an undershirt with it because you can't see underneath. Here's another shirt. This is by Easy Wear by Chico's. It says size one. I think it's a little bit big for me, but I like how soft it is. And I think it's meant to be a loose top. I've worn Chico's before and I'm in between a size zero and one. One fits me more comfortably. Zero is a little bit tight. Here's another shirt from Chico's, it's a size one and it's just a plain sleeveless top and it has the same fabric as the first one. My last top is from Ocean and Coast and it's just a white and blue geometric design. And this was also, I think, between two and three dollars. This is the dress that I'm actually gonna wear to church today. I have to go and wash this I tried this on in the store, it fits me just right. It has a nice soft stretchy material and then it has a tie in the waist. This is by Tatiana B. Oh, I love this dress. Very cute. Seal tie. <laughs> Very nice. Sneakers is from Jelly Pop and I bought this for $10. The sneakers were a little bit more expensive compared to the clothing, but it's still worth it. It looks Practically brand new or hardly worn size six and I got these Franco Sarto shoes For ten dollars and I'm gonna wear this to church also. These are a six and a half I'm more like a size five and a half to six But when I tried them on they actually fit me pretty well And then I need new sneakers and these are Columbia for $18. These are a size five and a half. I have small feet, so this is gonna fit me. And this looks like it was worn once. Two items that I needed for the kitchen was a rubber spatula, and this was for a dollar. The other item that I got, it's called a micro plane, and this was for $3. I wanted to get this. I wanted to buy this anyway for recipes that I saw online. And so, yeah, this is my new item. This was on my list to buy soon anyway. That is my impromptu haul that I bought. A total of $69 for the, all the items that I showed you. I'm gonna wash the clothes, I'm gonna put the dress on, and I'll show you how it looks like for church tonight. Here's a dress I bought today at the thrift store on the way home. The dress was $5. It does have a little tie in the front. It's stretchable. I was able to wash it real quick and then put it in the dryer for a few minutes. 
now we're about to leave and I have shoes but um, it's outside so that was $10 so altogether my outfit was $15 from the thrift store good evening guys we are done with church and since tonight is our last night we decided we're going to go out and eat out at Cracker Barrel it's my mom's treat so our last big get together for the season and we're gonna celebrate it here at Cracker Barrel I'm already sad I'm already sad this is it we have a few hours left we're gonna go to sleep and then we're gonna leave in the morning We need to go to bed soon. I'm just gonna end this vlog. I'm already tired from that very delicious dinner. This is gonna be day eight. It's more like a bonus day. It just won't be posted as early. If you've been following on my channel, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. I hope you enjoyed our trip to North Carolina. And I will see you again next time. Mochiko, you gonna miss us? Thank you.